Hi everyone, I'm from the Madison County Library System and I'm here today to show you how to download ebooks. The first thing you want to do is to go to our website, it's www.mcls.ms, that stands for the Madison County Library System. Under the Books and More tab, there is a link to our downloadable ebook and audiobooks. When you click on that, it'll open up to a new page. This is our OverDrive platform, which contains all of our ebooks and downloadable audiobooks. For today's purposes, we're going to go all the way to the far right under Youth Titles and click on that, and that'll open up all of our young adult titles. And today I'm just going to look for ebooks. I'm filtering my search on the right on the left hand side of the screen. This will pull up all our young adult ebooks. You can see some of the ebooks have a black book icon in the top right corner, and others have a gray book icon. So this one is gray, and this one is black. If they're black, that means they're checked in, and you can download them today or access that book today. If they're shaded in gray, that means they're currently checked out, and you cannot download it today. However, you can place a hold on it and be the next person in line to get that ebook. So today I'm going to download a book that is checked in. Here's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. When I hover over the image of the book, the screen changes and I can hit the button that says Borrow. Now when I click on that, it's going to prompt me to sign in. To sign in, you need your library card number and your four-digit PIN. If you need to get a library card, you can do so at any of our branches. If you need to reset your PIN, you can do that online on our website, or you can call one of our libraries, and they can help you over the phone. So once I sign in, it'll take me to my bookshelf, and you can see the book I selected is first here, and then all of my other downloadables are here as well. All of our eBooks expire in 14 days, so you have two weeks to read an eBook. Once those 14 days are over, your book automatically checks itself back in, so you don't have to worry about late fees. So the easiest and quickest way to access an ebook is to read it in your browser. Not all of our books have this option, but most of them do. So by clicking here, it'll bring up a new tab in which your book will automatically show. This is a synopsis of your book. And when you're ready to start reading, you just go down here and click. And there you go. Here's our book. To turn the pages, you just click on the right-hand side of the screen. You go through your table of contents. And finally, you get to chapter one. If you need to go back in the book, you just click on the left-hand side of the screen. If there is a book that you need help defining, you click on the word until it's highlighted in blue. When you release, you have these two options, define and highlight. To define brings up an English dictionary translation of that word. To highlight gives you the options to use a different color highlighter and also to make a note. That is not really important, but why not? So there, I've made a note and a highlighted word. And then I can also bookmark. To get that feature, you just hold your cursor in the middle of the screen and hold down. There we go. And you can see it brings up lots of things. The first thing I want to show is this bookmark symbol in the top right hand side of the screen. By clicking on it, it turns the bookmark into a black shade and you've made an, um, a bookmark. You can make several bookmarks through your book. Down here is your timeline and by moving the ruler, you can change what page you're on. So if you want to flip forward, 
to later in the book, you just move this sliding ruler back, and it will instantly bring up that page number. So if I want to highlight chapter 8, I just click in the middle of the screen, and then add a bookmark. Now the third thing I want to show you is this big button right here. This is your menu screen. By clicking on it, you have all these other options. You can do a search within a book. You can look at the different layout of the book. You have chapters, etc. If you want to just go quickly to a different chapter, you just click on the title of that chapter. You can also change your text scale, make it larger, make it smaller. You can change your lighting. So this is the day lighting versus the night lighting. And you can change your font as well, as well as your book design. And by scrolling down, you'll see a few other sections. These are your marks, so that includes your bookmarks, your highlights, and your notes. And this keeps a log of all of those for you. So you see here today, I made a bookmark in Chapter 1 on page 22. There's a note here, and then another bookmark. And if you need to quickly access any of them, you can just click on it, and it will take you to that individual highlight, bookmark, or note. Over here is another very important section. It's the download for offline reading section. Now, with the overdrive read function, you can open up your book in any browser. For a Mac, I really recommend using either Chrome or Firefox. Safari seems to have a few issues, whereas Firefox and Chrome seem to work much more smoothly but you can open up your book in any browser at any time when you're online and all of your notes etc will be saved. If you click this button and download your book for offline reading you can also re-access your book in your browser even if you are not connected to the internet. I'm just going to click that button, it's a little cloud, and once the circle around the cloud turns completely red then you are downloaded for offline reading. So I'm just going to go back to the top here, and I want to get back to my book, so I'm just going to hit this icon in the top left side, Overdrive Read. And there I am. Now, to quickly access my book when I'm offline, I need to save this in my bookmarks. So I go up here to Bookmarks, and I just hit Bookmark This Page. There. When I need to go back to it, I just open up my bookmarks and scroll all the way down, and there it is, Fangirl. Now I can access my book even if I am offline. If you have any questions about our ebook, collection or want to know more about how you can share your ebook on your other devices or download them to other devices, we do have a really comprehensive help page right here. It brings it up in a new tab. This is a really good go-to if you ever have any problems downloading or viewing or anything. So here's the Overdrive Read op section, and you can see that there's lots of sections within the Overdrive Read section. So 
So I hope this was, has been helpful for you today. And once again, I'm going to go back to our main website. All of our hours and contact information is right here on the top right hand corner of our website. We have five branches in the county, Camden, Canton, Flora, Madison, and Ridgeland. If you live in the county, getting a library card is completely free and you can download ebooks, audiobooks, come in and check out print books, DVDs, etc. We'd love to see you. Alright, thanks for listening guys.